Hi guys, my name is Tyler Barbera, 20 years old from North Scottsdale, Arizona, where there's a ton of cougars. <laughs> and that's what I want to do. I want to fuck a cougar for the first time. So basically, I'm a complete asshole at times, but girls just eat it up because of my superficial charm and good looks, because I'm cute. And I'm sexy. My personality, I can talk to you about how I'm a nice guy and shit. I am a nice guy. I'm a likable person. But you on the show about me fucking cooter. So let's talk about that. Um, I'm really good at that. I'm really good at charming girls. And I always say the right things and do the right things. And I always know when touching is okay. And I work on it, work on it, plant the seed. So I'm very, very, very good at that. That's so personality wise when I'm talking to girls. I can be an asshole, but an asshole at the right times. So, like, one minute I say something to you, like, you wear too much makeup, but, like, in a joking way, like, asshole, and then I'll hold the door open for him in the other five seconds. And they're like, why is he an asshole or is he nice? And usually they end up thinking I'm nice, and it works out perfectly because, well, well I get laid. <laughs> I'm also a really good wingman. A wingman is someone that hooks the friend up with the girl. I do that all the time at raves, parties, all that kind of stuff. I always hook up my friends and they always get girls because of me. <laughs> uh, my sex life, uh, I'm pretty good. I've only been turned down once in my life and that was granted she was really, really hot. I don't know why she turned me down. But uh, the past week I've had, past seven days I've had sex three times with three different girls. Um, past two weeks, seven times with six different girls. So I'm pretty good at what I do, and they're all at least sevens out of ten. Most of them were uh, 8.5s, I'd say. And yeah, yeah, me and my friend Brent were really good at picking up girls. <laughs> Cute girls, too. I don't settle for less. If you're lower than a seven, I'm not even paying attention to you. Always hot chicks, always. I've had two sons, three sons, anal, vaginal, or I've done all that. I've never done two guys and one girl though, that's gross. That's two fags in the whore, I'm one fag. Nothing against gay people, I just don't want to touch another dude's dick. My dream cougar would be, uh, well, I live in North Scottsdale, which is known for being where all the rich people hang out, like this is where all the rich, rich, rich people live. And so we have a ton of these blonde moms, fake tits, driving their brand new 2012 Escalades. So I want, I want that completely superficial chick. I don't give a fuck. They're hot. So that would be my uh, cougar of choice because they're just all over the place here. <laughs> I just need to find one that's willing to fuck me. I choose cougars because I want someone experienced, like, you know, virgins or people that haven't had sex a lot. They're like, ow, 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 wait, 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 can we, can we uh, try this tomorrow? I just want to try it tomorrow. I don't want to have to go through that shit. It's fucking horrible. I want a girl that knows what she's doing and is experienced. It's not going to bitch about stuff. Like, I have, I've been told I have a big dick, so I can't even do dog stuff. They're like, it hurts too much. So I was like, dude, I need to walk a cougar because they won't be bitching like this. Oh my god. Plus, like, of course they want to fuck a 20 year old. 20 year old that's hot. And I'll do anything for him. I want to relive my 20s, you know, that shit. Uh, my best friend, Bren, uh, I would never hit on his mom because they're more like family to me. Uh, like, they invite me to family dinners and stuff. And Brent's pretty much my older brother. I consider him my older brother, so I would never ever touch his mom. Sorry, guys. But I will touch other people's moms. <laughs> Typical day in my life is uh, wake up, I go to the gym, or uh, maybe I spin some dubstep, I make dubstep, uh, write some music, make some art. I got art all around. I got art everywhere. It's abstract art, so sure my stuff like that. Um, I have drums, keyboard, uh, guitars, all that good stuff. So uh, I mess around on that. 
Uh, I'm getting a DJ job soon, so I'm going to start pulling in money. I don't have a real job right now because I got out of the hospital and I'm in my recovering period, so I'm not allowed to. I had to move back in with my parents, which is super, super lame, but I can get past it. I can fuck a girl at any moment in this house. <laughs> that basically. Because I know that's what you're thinking. To uh, reiterate, my passion is art in all different forms from tattoos to on paper to on canvas. Uh, I'm currently writing three books. I'm also writing a screenplay and uh, my dad knows uh, producers and so once my screenplay is finalized it's going to give it to them and it might be made into a movie which I would think is really cool. So uh, everything that has to do with creativity and uh, making imagination that's my real passion. I was never a book guy. I can't just study a textbook. That's so fucking weird. Um, for tattoos, right? There I have Love is My Weapon. And uh, that um, explains, like, not love, like, to a girl, but love to my friends. Like, uh, I don't hate people. I don't say mean things to people. I don't cuss people out. I only show love to people. I fight all the hate with love, and it usually always works. If someone's having a bad time and they start cussing at me, if I show love to them, they usually settle down and they'll show love back. So that, I have this as a reminder to always stay true to my beliefs. I have this tattoo. This is a Grateful Dead skull. For my uh, passion for classic music, I have mom right there, dad right there, and rock and roll on my knuckles. And on my back, I have a quote that says, I dream of angels but live demons. And uh, that goes for tattoos, but I'm definitely getting more. I've been in a semi-serious relationship, but uh, the girl went completely crazy on me. She lied about taking birth control pills because she wanted to have my baby. Like, that's what she said. And then she got a tattoo on the back of her neck to remind herself of me and totally creeped me out. So like, no, fuck this, like, I'm done with relationships. Like, I've had girlfriends before, but never really anything serious. I just like to have sex with random girls. <laughs> In conclusion, I know you guys probably have a lot of people out there that want to get this, but I'm willing to go on the show. You tell me, like, you say jump, I say how high. I will do anything you guys ask me to. No shame or anything like that. You say go up to that woman right now, I'll do anything you guys want. I'll put on a good show for you. I promise you that. Alright, well, I hope I hear back from you guys. Bye.